Hey guys, this is Alex C with TFB TV. Today we're gonna disassemble a really cool gun, if I do say so myself. This is a Thompson M1A1 submachine gun. We've actually put this exact gun up against a German MP40 to see which one reigns supreme, and the conclusion was they're both great guns. Um, the Thompson does have a few unique features that make it awesome. This one being an M1A1 is actually probably the lowest, the cheapest Thompson on the hierarchy. But a great gun nonetheless. They uh, are straight blowback instead of using the Blish principle that the early guns used. They're also still select fire, which is great. The MP40 is full auto only. They've got a great uh, magazine catch located right where you can activate it with your thumb, as I show right here. So all in all, the ergonomics are not that bad. Um, you could actually transition to this quite easily if uh, you had a little bit of training. And of course, this gun uh, formerly belonged to the U.S. It's got that nice U.S. property stamp. However, it no longer belongs to them, and it's made its way into my collection, and I'm very proud of this gun. Now, to start field stripping it, what you're going to want to do is, of course, check the chamber. It is an open bolt gun, so if the bolt's closed, that means it is probably empty, but never hurts to check anyway. Always want to do that with any firearm, realistically. Public service announcement here, I guess. But uh, anyways, to get to field strip it, you want to separate the upper and lower halves by pressing this little button here. Once you press that, slide the upper receiver a little bit forward and then pull the trigger. That will release the tension on the bolt and separate the two halves. So once you have your upper receiver detached from the lower, press the button located on the back here so you can put some pressure on the recoil spring guide rod and remove the buffer. The buffer retains the guide rod. So let the spring and the guide rod come off the rear. You want to be careful so that doesn't shoot across the room. Now pull the bolt to the rear and pull out the cocking knob which serves to retain the entire bolt as well. And then you're free to remove the actual bolt itself. Now being an M1A1 you can see it's a simple straight blowback submachine gun. Um, it's well machined and that's really all it takes to field strip one of these. They're very simple. While they look cool and they look like every other Thompson, they did have a lot of cost cutting measures and they are, like I said, the cheapest uh, Thompson on the hierarchy, a 1928 or something like that. One of the quote gangster end quote Thompsons with a nice uh, four in with the ability to accept drums would be cooler and I would definitely trade into one, but uh, hey, an M1A1 is still a Thompson and I'm very proud to own this gun. Anyways, this is Alex C with TFB TV. Thanks for watching this field strip video. I hope you enjoyed it. A look at a nice American Thompson submachine gun.